The weather on Chiming Festival is just as its literal meaning signifies, pure, clear, and full of brightness. It's both a natural solar term and a very ancient festival of the Chinese. In the south of the Yangtze River, it is a customary to eat green dumplings at Chiming. It is said since the Chiming Festival and the ancient cold food festival gradually became one. Some of the cold food festival traditions, such as green dumplings served cold, have been kept. The appearance of the green dumplings has not changed for more than a thousand years. The traditional way of making green dumplings demands all, including the wrapping and kneading, be done by hand, and this unique skill has also been preserved in Shanghai. Mix the natural green juice of wheat seedlings into glutinous rice flour in a suitable proportion. Make a small green dough and then put the filling in and wrap it up. The most classic and traditional filling is the bean paste. Which is finely ground from the choicest red beans. It's very delicate and needs to be carefully stir fried. The filling of the salted egg yolk and pork floss, on the other hand, is very modern. Salted egg yolk, newly produced in nearby Gaoyu City, is mixed with pork floss after first being steamed. Kneaded and rubbed by hand, round and full green dumplings quickly come into being one after another, with a perfect ratio of wrapper to filling. Steam in the oven for about 15 minutes. Its color looks like the best jadeite. The glow of the skin resembles that of green jade, and the food itself tastes smooth and gooey. Salted egg yolk is delicious and fragrant, and the bean paste is sweet but not greasy. Both fuse with a lingering aroma from tender wheat. To this day, the taste of the green dumplings made with ancient methods has remained exactly the same as that of the ones our grandparents ate. The taste has been committed to our taste buds and our memory.